<laughs> I don't have Timothy this morning, but Mara still has to go to school, so I'm having to wake her up. And, um, gotta get some stuff done today. Got some running. I've got one place to go. One place to go. Otherwise, the rest of the day, I'm gonna try to devote to clean the house. Because the, clean, the nasty house kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety. So let's go wake up Mara. You ready to get up? Huh? You bum. You bum. You're in here snoring. You ready? You ready? You ready to start your day? You're so cool. I already knew you girl. I heard the best girl ever. <laughs> I see you have a guest. Uh huh. Levy, how come you're not in your bed? I don't think this is a thunder. Oh, she heard thunder? Mm -hmm. So here's all the laundry I washed and dried yesterday. Made it to the couch. Didn't make it any further than that. And then this is the rest of my lovely house here. This is what happens when I go 24 hours without cleaning. I feel like when you don't clean and you have kids, your house ends up looking like a college frat party that you wasn't invited to. So this day is not going anywhere near how I expected or planned. Um, I literally had to rush out and feed everybody the second John got home and now I'm having to um, go about three counties over because my mama is in the emergency room. She has a kidney stone and the kidney stone is lodged. So, um, I'm having to drive over here because I'm going to have to be the one to drive her home. So, you guys pray for my mama. She ain't doing good. And I'll keep you updated. Let you know what happens. John's got off work and he's having to stay up and sit with the kids while I do this. So, he's going to be exhausted tonight. It's just not how the day was supposed to go. Let's go get my mama. Nothing unusual, nothing strange, close to nothing at all. The same old scenario, the same old rain, and there's no explosion. So I just dropped mom off back home. Um, she has a kidney stone stuck near her bladder. They gave her a bunch of pain medication and then they sent her home and she has to follow up with a urologist in the morning um, to see what they want to do if they want to try to get it out with the basket or try to let her pass it I mean because it's it's pretty far down there so they're hoping that it'll just pass so we'll see so well I'll, I can give you more information probably tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog but as of today she's on pain medicine she's at home and she's resting so Let's go home. So I'm home now and I'm checking on my babies. Do you know how happy my tink tink makes me? Do you know? Do you know? Look at her. Look how beautiful. Love my tinky tink. Okay. Let's do an egg check with the quail. Got another one. So this makes seven. And we'll check again this evening and see if we have any more. Oh, and yesterday I said something about... Um, the chickens being fertile for three days after they've been with a rooster. So, y'all, I did a little research. No, they're fertile a lot longer than that. After a hen's been with a rooster for more than a few days, if she's been with him for a while and he's bred her a couple times, she can be fertile up to four weeks. Four weeks. So, I have a whole month to get these girls to lay and give me some eggs and then stick them in the incubator. So, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. So while I was on Farmer Meemaw's um, live stream this afternoon, a lot of you guys wanted to know how I was enjoying my planner um, and wanted a review on it to see how I was using it. So I'm going to so show you. If you wanted to know how I've been using my planner, this is how. This was from last week. Um, I did, of course, I showed you that I was going to declutter the cabinets and the coffee area. I never went through their toys and tossed out their room stuff. Um, we're going to have to put it off for another day. 
didn't do the bookshelf. I did finish the bathroom. I paid the bills, did the coffee chat, live stream. The coffee chat I actually got to do with Tangie the caver's wife, and that was a blast. Um, I don't have anything listed for my barn because everything kind of went topsy-turvy with us getting the chickens. But I did actually clean out that under stall um, and I actually went ahead and cleaned the whole barn. And then I've got our meals listed and what bills need to be paid. And then, like, I've got all these little... I've been writing these quotes on here to just kind of keep me motivated. You can't do it all in one day. That was most important. Um, the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Guys, my handwriting is horrible. Sorry. Then, this week, I have all the meals, like Chinese food, hamburger helper. We're going to do that. We're doing a pork loin, spaghetti, a white pasta, chicken sandwiches, southern food, which we already done the southern food. Um, I was supposed to do, on my YouTube list, um, I was supposed to do Sunday, I was supposed to do a live stream at church. Today just did not go to, uh, the way I expected, so I was going to do the breakdown of the quail. I may still go ahead and do that in this vlog. Tomorrow I'm going to update you guys on how mom's doing after she gets done at her specialist appointment. I put that in there just a few minutes ago. Friday I'm scheduled to go to the tiny house. Um, the tiny house people are actually going to sit down and do a QA. and a um, So if you do have questions about the tiny house, I know a lot of you guys had some uh, questions and I'm going to try to go back through that video um, and pull up as many questions as I can, write them all down and take it with me so that... Um, so that I can ask him these things. Um, he told me he's ready to answer anything I wanna know. So I'm scheduled to do that Friday and he should have the shell of a tiny house log cabin finished by then. Um, today I'm doing some laundry. I don't have anything wrote out yet for my cleaning. I'm working on that as we speak. Today is only Tuesday and it, has been it was crazy yesterday. It's been crazy today. So I've not been able to write down as much things as I wanted to. Um, Saturday, John is going to be off work because I'm going to need his help for this. Guys, our closet is like the size of a small room and it's literally just become almost like the junk room. Like if there's something to throw in there, that's what we do. So it, it's got to get under control because I would actually like to use, it's so big that we have all of our clothes on one side of the closet and we still have space and we have a dresser in there and we still have space. So I'm thinking about taking it and actually putting all of our clothes on the one side and maybe possibly building up shelves and using it as a pantry, like it's that big. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, some of the quotes I put for this week, even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you sit there. So <laughs> that's definitely been for this week. Uh, don't worry about failures, worry about the chances you missed even when you, when you don't even try. So that's what I've got here. There's the Homesteaders of America Conference and I'm really excited. We are actually going to leave out early Friday morning, so we will be in Virginia Friday afternoon. We're going to spend the night, do the conference, stay the night again, and then we are going to do some stuff on Sunday morning, and we should be home late, late Sunday night, early Monday morning. I'm going to try to live stream as much as I can. Um, obviously, with like the main demonstrators or the main um, speaker guest speakers, I can't live stream, but like... Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, uh, Big Bear Homestead, Alderman Farms, um, the fundamental Amanda from the Fundamental Home. There's so many of you guys that are coming that I plan to live stream and definitely going to videotape with some of them. I'm so excited, so excited. So that's what I'm doing with this. I absolutely love this planner. Some of you ask, was it worth it? Would I do it again? I 120% would do this planner again. As a matter of fact, I already told John next year I want to do the exact same thing. I want to get another one, except I think I might want to change the cover just to be different. But other than that, I love this planner. It's worth the money. It's a stunningly beautiful day today, so let's go play outside.
more eggs. Today we got one egg and I changed their little house to something that they could hide in better. The little ladder thing that I was using for a roost is not working near as well. Um, so instead I've decided to use a couple of branches and make them more of a natural roost. Um, and it's more sturdy. It's got more places for their feet. They seem much more content with that. Um, they seem a little bit more secure with it. So I'm hoping that this makes them happy. And honestly, it frees up more room down below. I'm going to take these two pieces of wood out. But um, that gives them a little bit more space down here too. It's not taking up any space. It's up ahead. So hopefully that works. And then we had to change the nest too because somebody, not mentioning names, keeps destroying every nest I put in here. So she's a bad girl. She'll figure it out. But yeah, this gives them a little more space, a little bit more secure sleeping. I'm cooking dinner and cleaning the kitchen while the kids are outside playing, but I wanted to stop in and remind you guys, January 29th is the last day for you guys to get the video submissions in for the contest to celebrate the 2,000 subscribers as well as our one-year anniversary. And also to remind you that the prize is a $50 Amazon gift card as well as two tickets to the Homesteaders of America conference that will be going on October the 14th in Virginia. Guys, you do not want to miss this conference. Think about it. It's going to be me, of course, Amy Fuel with Fuel Homestead. You're going to see Joel Salatin, Lisa from Fresh Eggs Daily. Um, let's see. There's so many. Esther Emery from Fouchomatic. She's got a YouTube channel and a vlog. Um, and then you'll have the regular demonstrators that are going to be like Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, Big Bear Homestead, Alderman Farm, Amanda from the Fundamental Home, and then you'll have Bandana Grandma and the Pratt family and Tangy the Caver's wife. And literally, there's going to be so many of us there. It's going to be crazy. Don't miss out on that. So make sure you check out all of our social media links down below. I love you guys. And until tomorrow, love you. Bye.